Hubba Hubba. The dictionary defines bombshell as a strikingly sexy woman. And although the origin of the phrase is unknown, it dates at least as far back as the 1933 Gene Harlow film, The Blonde Bombshell. But perhaps no era was as stacked with bombshells as the good old 1970s. These are the women that turned many of us into men. Whether they were posters on a dorm room wall, beaming into our living rooms on a television set, or splashed across the silver screen, these were the girls of our dreams. Hey there, I'm Nostalgic Nick from Do You Remember, and today we're looking back at the top 10 bombshells from the bombshelliest decade of them all, the 1970s. Which one of these talented women was your favorite? And we only have 10, who did we forget? Let us know in the comments, we can't wait. And if you enjoy this tantalizing throwback, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel so you won't miss a single nostalgic video. All right, let's revisit some bombshells. Linda Carter. In knee-high red boots, a skimpy leotard, and a golden crown, Linda Carter as Wonder Woman was one of the most recognizable stars of the late 1970s. Winner of the 1972 Miss World USA title, Miss United States of America. It was no surprise that Carter, with her piercing blue eyes and an almost Amazonian physique, was chosen to portray America's foremost female superhero. By crushing supervillains, saving the world, and looking fantastic every week, Carter lassoed the hearts and minds of men all over America. The real Wonder Woman. Don't make me prove it. After Wonder Woman ended in 1979, Carter's career was more uneven, mainly consisting of guest appearances and musical specials, like this one of her and her daughter Jessica performing an Everly Brothers tune. In the early 2000s, she had a little resurgence with roles in the cult classic Super Troopers, and along with video game voice work, she doesn't stray too far from superheroes. She's made appearances in Smallville and Supergirl on the CW. But no matter the ups and downs, the world will always remember her for one role, whether it was flying an invisible jet or blocking bullets with her wrists. Linda Carter was certainly an amazing 70s bombshell. Stevie Nicks. While Stevie Nicks might not be the first name to pop into your head when thinking about 70s bombshells, she more than deserves to make this list. Nicks joined the band Fleetwood Mac in 1975, soon helping to propel them to the top of the charts with songs like Rhiannon and Dream. Her self-described gypsy bohemian style, doe-like eyes, and bewitching good looks, combined with her songwriting prowess and vocal talents, were central components in her success fronting one of the best-selling rock bands of all time. In fact, Nyx was so alluring that the band almost broke up when, while dating guitarist Lindsey Buckingham, she had an affair with drummer Mick Fleetwood. And all the drama did make for some fantastic songs. I love dancing. I love most of all writing songs. Nyx went on to have a fantastic solo career as well, and in 2019 became the only woman to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame twice. Gorgeous and talented, what a bombshell. Farrah Fawcett no list of 70s bombshells could ever be complete without the incomparable Farrah Fawcett. A model and commercial actor in Los Angeles in the early 1970s, Fawcett's life was changed forever when she did a photo shoot for Pro Arts in a red one-piece swimsuit. The resulting poster, with Fawcett's impeccable blonde, feathered hair, and almost impossibly huge smile, was an instant smash, selling over 12 million copies worldwide. This success led to Fawcett receiving her most memorable role as Jill Monroe in TV's Charlie's Angels. Although she left the show after only one season, her impact on pop culture was secure, with the Farrah Flip hairstyle remaining popular throughout the next decade. Fawcett continued to act and never lost her fabulous good looks, even appearing in Playboy in 1997 at the age of 50. Sadly, Fawcett died from cancer in 2009 at the age of 62, but her bombshell legacy will always be remembered with her iconic red swimsuit even being enshrined in the Smithsonian in 2011. The Lord helps those who help themselves. Christy Brinkley. Our next bombshell is Christy Brinkley, one of the most famous supermodels of all time. With wavy, sun-drenched blonde hair, riveting blue eyes, and an infectious smile, Brinkley was the epitome of a Southern Californian surfer girl. Looking born to wear a swimsuit certainly worked out for her, as in the late 70s, she was on the cover of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition and unprecedented three times in a row. Brinkley also dabbled in acting, appearing in the 80s as the iconic girl in a red Ferrari in National Lampoon's Vacation. 
and also in music videos made by her one-time love interest, Billy Joel. Most recently, she had a role as the inexplicably attractive wife of doofus Jerry Gergich on the TV show Parks and Recreation. Brinkley's intoxicating good looks never faded, and she once again regraced the cover of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit in 2017 at the age of 63, and she continues to stun till this day. This woman seriously does not age. Pam Greer. The word bombshell doesn't even begin to describe this next lovely lady on our list. She's sweet brown sugar with a touch of spice. A more apt description for Pam Greer might be the atom bomb, because she would explode onto the screen with incredible force. Greer was the star of a mid 70s blaxploitation hits as Coffee and Foxy Brown. In these films, she would kick butts, bust perps, take names, and look ravishing the entire time. Roger Ebert described her as having an incredibly beautiful face and an astonishing form. And when you're able to blow one of the country's most respected film critics out of the water, you know your status as a bombshell is secure. After her run of 70s hits, Greer did continue to act. I mean, who could forget her in Quentin Tarantino's masterpiece Jackie Brown in 1997, acting alongside other screen legends like Robert De Niro and Samuel L. Jackson. And most recently, you could check Pam out in the TV series Bless This Mess, where she shows off her comedic chops. We'll always remember the bold 70s Pam Greer in our hearts though. Raquel Welsh. I mean, when you get cast in a movie as a character named Lust Incarnate, as Raquel Welsh played in the 1967 film Bedazzled, you know you're well on your way to achieving bombshell status. Welsh burst onto the scene a year earlier in the movie One Million Years BC. Sporting a now infamous fur bikini and fighting off monsters, Welsh had people all over the US swooning. While most beauties of the day were cookie cutter blondes, the Hispanic Welsh born Joe Raquel Tejada stood out from the crowd. After becoming a prehistoric sex symbol, Welsh continued to act, appearing in Kansas City Bomber and the star-studded 1973 film Three Musketeers. In 1982, however, Welsh was fired from the film Cannery Row and replaced with a woman 15 years her junior. After successfully suing the studio for age discrimination and winning $10 million, Welsh's movie career was effectively over. This forced Welsh to shift to the small screen, where she would appear in various movies and series for the next several decades, culminating in the short-lived show Date My Dad in 2017. But the world won't soon forget the woman that Playboy magazine named the most desirable woman of the 1970s. Bombshell status, indeed. Debbie Harry. With her bleach blonde hair, smoky eyes, and punk aesthetic, new wave goddess Debbie Harry might represent a slight departure from other ladies on this list, but that doesn't make her any less of a bombshell. Harry was the charismatic lead singer for the popular band Blondie, whose hits include Heart of Glass and Call Me. The band was actually named after a cat call Harry would receive while walking the streets of New York. And her signature look was so arresting that Andy Warhol used her as the subject for one of his famous pop art portraits. Outside of the band, Harry also acted appearing alongside Sonny Bono in the 1988 movie Hairspray. Sidebar, if you're a fan of Sonny Bono, definitely check out our deep dive into the rise and fall of Sonny and Cher. Blondie were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2006 and continues to be active to this day. So thankfully, it's still possible to see bombshell Debbie Harry strut her stuff across the stage. Jacqueline Smith, another absolute angel. Next up, we have Jacqueline Smith. Hello? It's Charlie, Angel. Time to go to work. Starring alongside Farrah Fawcett and the TV smash Charlie's Angels, Smith came into our living rooms every week to solve crimes while looking stunning. However, she almost wasn't even cast as Angel Kelly Garrett. The show's producers wanted the Angels to be one blonde, one brunette, and one redhead. But after Smith auditioned, her almost regal beauty and elegant good looks carried the day, and all of America fell in love. Good thing too, cause Smith was the only character to stay for the whole run of Charlie's Angels, and continued to act in small roles after the show ended. However, her most famous post-Angel role is probably best known as that of a designer. Smith was one of the first celebrities to have her own fashion line, and not just endorse the products of someone else. In fact, her Jacqueline Smith line is still super popular to this day, and can be found in Kmart all across the country. Smith does continue to act as well, even appearing as her original character in the 2019 reboot of Charlie's Angels. Bo Derek. The term one-hit wonder gets used all the time in music. For example, like in our 1970s one-hit wonders video. Check it out after this. 
And that might be how you describe the film career of our next bombshell. After several movie flops, Bo Derek burst onto the scene in 1979 in the romantic comedy Ten, in which she played a man's ideal form of a woman. And with her long blonde braids, blue eyes, and a face as if carved from marble, you can see why. A dream sequence in which she ran down the beach in a skimpy flesh-colored bathing suit cemented her status as a sex symbol and she appeared in Playboy more than five times over the next several years. However, Derek's movie career would never hit these heights again, and she would go on to be nominated for six Golden Raspberries for her poor acting in films like Bolero, Ghost Can't Do It, and of course, the sexually nefarious stepmom in Tommy Boy. Holy shnikes. Despite this, Bo Derek will forever be fixed in our minds as one of the most beautiful women of the 1970s. Catherine Bach. And last, but certainly not least on our list, who could ever forget the beautiful bombshell Catherine Bach? In the mid-70s, Bach starred as Daisy Duke on the TV hit Dukes of Hazzard. The show's producers initially wanted her character to be a Dolly Parton look-alike, but as soon as Bach walked into that audition with her silky brunette locks and legs that went on for miles, she was hired on the spot. Bach's look for the show was so iconic that super short denim cutoffs are still referred to as Daisy Dukes to this day, and those legs that the Dukes showed off, they were insured throughout the run of the show for a mere million dollars. After Dukes of Hazard ended, Bach continued to act in small roles in Hollywood until she joined the cast of The Young and the Restless in 2012, where you can still see her today. Whew, what a list. Irresistibly beautiful and outrageously talented. These ladies had it all. And whether we watched them on the screen or listened to their music or had their posters hanging on our walls, these stunners were some of the biggest stars and sexiest bombshells of the 1970s. If we missed your favorite 70s star, please let us know in the comments. We can always make a round two. And if you enjoyed this throwback, it really would mean the world to us if you would like this video and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss a single video that we premiere. Until next time, from all of us here at Do You Remember, Remember, thanks for watching.